Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much, have a great day. Mike here from Tradewinds RV Center. We're gonna be doing a walk around on your Catalina 231 MKS. This has a power tongue jack. Two 20 pound tanks with an auto changeover regulator. The little indicator here is pointing at which tank you wanna draw from, left or right. Or you can drop that directly in the center for auto changeover, just open up both tanks. It's got a brand new powerhouse battery and uh, powerhouse battery box and interstate battery. The interstate batteries are not carefree. You have to check the distilled water level at least once or twice a year. This has stabilizer jacks on each corner of the unit. Pull through storage, your VIN tag, tire information. Here is your fresh water drain. It's a blue PEX line coming down. Your black and gray dump valves for your black and gray holding tanks. It has cable satellite hookup here. Fresh water fill. This is a 30 amp unit. It has a city water connection and a black tank flush. So when you want to operate the black tank flush, what you want to do is hook up your sewer hose, run it to a proper dump station, and then open up just the black valve and let the tank evacuate. And then you can hook up to the sprayer, turn it on, and it'll rinse the tank walls and the sensors. All Catalinas come with aluminum wheels and aluminum fender skirts. RV sewer hose storage in the bumper. This has a backup camera ready. This has deliberate solid steps. And it has a leash link. Here's your furnace exhaust. You've got outdoor speakers. Here's your ventilation for your stovetop fan. Access panel to the refrigerator. And here's your suburban water heater. This is a six gallon water heater. It has gas and electric operation. So there's a little switch here for the electric operation. 110 receptacle on the outside. This has a Dometic power awning with LED strip. There's your equalizer hitch, your jack crank. Go ahead and side now. Get your fire extinguisher located right by the door. That's good for liquids and electronics. This has a little charge center that you can pull up. Two USBs and 110 receptacles. Here's your monitor panel with your water heater on gas. So the switch on the outside is strictly for electric. Here's your water pump control, interior and exterior light switches, awning control, slide room control. This has a suburban stovetop with a igniter built in just for the uh, stovetop part. So you will have to manually light the pilot for the oven. This has a Furion uh, fan and light and a Furion microwave. And this is a Norcold refrigerator. So this has auto changeover mode built right in. So you can see we got this green light right now that's telling us that we're running on the 110. So if we were to lose the 110 power, it would turn to a yellow uh, light, which would let us know we're running on the gas and battery as a combination. If this uh, light here turns red, either you're out of propane or your tanks are off. Here's your Coleman Mac thermostat. We're located right behind the uh, door here next to the refrigerator. And then directly below that, you have your access panel, which we removed for your water heater. So you can see the way the valves are pointing now. That allows the tank to fill. So if you turn those valves the opposite way, you can bypass the system to pump antifreeze in for winterization. And then your pump is located directly underneath the kitchen sink. You don't have to remove an access panel for that. It's just right here. And there's a little check valve on the end of the hose that you can um, pump antifreeze to the system with. Here's your converter. It has your 110 breakers and 12 volt fuses. Furion uh, stereo is also uh, Bluetooth and it is a DVD player. 
So you'll notice back behind the TV, there's an HDMI plug in here. That's already connected to your stereo. So all you need to do is get an HDMI cord, connect it to the TV, pop a DVD in, and it's gonna automatically start playing. And then right next to that is your cable and satellite input. There is a booster switch on there for your cable. Make sure that's on if you do a local channel search. It says glass shower door, so you always want to make sure that they're latched before travel. It says a dual foam shower liner. Center flush that third toilet. Get a light switch on the wall there. GFCI receptacle. You've got 110 receptacles and a 12 volt USB plug in on each side. And you can have a TV installed in the bedroom here. You got cable and satellite hookup there, with 110 receptacle. And you got some reading lights directly underneath or on top of your bed there. Storage on each side. And that basically wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. Before you collect your unit, you should always look into the paint and fabric protection and also ask about our extended warranty.